Hey, greetings everyone, it's Cousin Leo Br Leonides here and it's the 29th of March so it's Good Friday and we're going to read today an Easter verse so we've got John 13, 36 let's have a look at that and I'll read with my Erasmian pronunciation Lege autor Simon Petros Kurie Pu Upages Apekrite Autor Ho Jesus Hopu ego hupago utuna sai moi nun akolute sai. Husteron de akolute says moi. Okay, let's go straight from there. So let's have a look. So we have lege. Now we've seen that before in the verses we looked at. So we got he says. Now we can say this is a narrative, so we can also say he said. That's okay. Now let's have a look at who is saying that. So we read auto, that is not a nominative, so we're going to keep on reading. So we've got the next word, Simon. Okay, that's related to our word, our name Simon. Okay, it's the same name. Simon Petros. Okay, called Peter. Okay, called the rock. Okay, Simon Peter said to him, okay, great. Okay, we've got courier. Okay, that's going to be evocative, so you're talking to the person. So, in okay, quite a number of churches, okay, what a common chant is "Curie eleison," Lord have mercy. You can have that, but we're not saying that here, or he's not saying that here. So we got "pu," that's where, that's a question word. So we've got next to the "hupages." can see a little thing which looks like a semicolon that's the punctuation which is most often used for a question mark so we've got where are you going Hupages. where you off to something like that now let's have a look so we got the ape crite autoho jesus okay so we can see notice the ho so that's the the subject marker it's a definite article so, uh, okay, literally the Jesus, but we can just say Jesus. Jesus apekrite. Now, that's an interesting word. So, it comes from apokrinomai. Okay, now that's actually an aorist passive form. Now, there's no active form in this period of Greek. There's an active form, probably, let's see if I can remember that, in say Homer, maybe the Iliad or the Odyssey. But there's none which exists from a later time. So we got Jesus answered. Notice we got the Apo. The Apo from. Okay, we've got the word. Ape. Now the E is the symbol, the sign that this is going to be a past tense. So we got the truth there, so it's going to be eris past tense. So normally that will be eris passive. But there's no active form. Okay, so Jesus answered him, gave an answer to him. To him. So the auto is going to be dative case. So we got ho, pu. Not really that hard. If we look at the one, two, three, four, five, six word, then we got pu as a question. This is no longer a question. So we got this is an indirect question. Where? I am going. So we had the hupages before. Now we're simply changing the form to hupago. So if it's or ending, I am doing it. So where I am going, now we have u, so we can tell it's negative what is being said. Dunasai. That's reasonably interesting too. So dunamai is I am able. Dunasai is you singular or able. But you are not able. So you are not able. Now, that should take an infinitive. So we're going to keep on reading. So we've got the moi. So whatever the verb is, it takes the dative case. Not dunamai, but another verb. Nun. Okay, that just means now. And then we've got this word. Akolutenatsai. So we've got. You are not able to follow. So that is just a reasonably regular infinitive. 
Okay, you are not able now, this time, to follow me. Okay, right. So he's basically saying that, okay, what is happening is that Jesus is preparing for his death. And when Simon Peter, okay, for only good intentions, is basically saying, I'm ready to follow you to the end. Then Jesus is basically saying, no, you're really not ready. You're not ready at all. So we'll deal with the next part. So we got, who's Ron de says moi. So again, the moi. So something to do with to me. So that is a dative case. The nominative would be ego, like the word ego. Ego. So we got, akoluthe says. Now you'll note that that word is, okay, a different form of the verb that we've already had of akoluthe sai. Okay, so we got, akoluthe says will be, you will follow me. So it's going to be future tense. It's going to be you because we've got the a ending. So you do something. You will follow me. Who's there on? Later. All right. That's all I've got time for. Now we might release another one tomorrow.